friends! So this week I'm going to be doing the bookshelf tag. Um, I did not make a note of who the creator was, but I will leave that video linked down below. There are 12 questions on this tag, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Question number one, how many bookshelves do you have? I have six, I believe they're six foot long shelves like this up on my wall. And then I have a TBR cart. Question number two, how many books are on your bookshelves or how many books do you think you have? And I was actually kind of curious about this, my red books versus my TBR book, which is not a good ratio for me. But I counted. So I have 201 red books. I am currently reading four books off of my shelves. I have five books on there that technically belong to my sister. I have six books from there that I have read this month. And I have 114 TBR books, which if I calculated it upright is around 330 books. But I don't, I don't know if I did that math right. Question number three, how do you organize your books? And mostly they're done by author. I kind of... They're sort of done by genre, as in I have like all of my more like fantasy and other books towards the top of the shelves. I think they're all on like the first, like the top two shelves. And then basically everything else is contemporary romance in some form. So basically by author after that. Question number four, what is the oldest book on your bookshelf? So technically the oldest book I have according to the copyright in the book is That Summer by Sarah Dessen. This was copyright 1996? Yes, 1996. So according to the copyright this is the oldest book I have but I have not owned this book since 1996. This is a YA book. Um, I don't know that I've ever actually read this Sarah Dessen book now that I'm looking at it. I think I read the How to Deal. It was a mashup of two Sarah Dessen books. I think I read that. I don't think I've ever actually read this original version. Hmm. But yeah, this is from 1996. The oldest book in terms of how long it's been on my shelf. Are you guys ready for this? This is from 1999. So I was nine years old and very much in the middle of my obsession with Mary-Kate Nashley. And it is the two-of-a-kind TV series adaptation thing. They had the TV series first and then they wrote, they like novelized the TV series. This is two-of-a-kind number one. It's a twin thing. I have books 1 through 29 of this series. I think they ended up going to like 50 something. Yeah. I love Mary Kate and Ashley, so this was quite a surprise when I was looking at the questions to see that this was the one that had been on there the longest. Question number 5, what is the newest book on your bookshelf? And that is a pre-order that came last week. A Lie for a Lie by Helena Hunting. This is a hockey romance that I ordered and I don't think you have to be done with the Puck series but I still have quite a few left in the Puck series that I think I want to try to get through before I read this one just because like I don't think you have to but I'm going that's how I'm going to do it. Question number six what is the longest book on your bookshelf? <sighs> I'm gonna go with a Harry Potter book or like I have the Nightingale on there on my TBR. Um, I have some Mariana Zapata books that are really long. I don't know. Let me go count out some numbers I guess. Okay so I actually ended up looking this one up and it says that Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix is 766 pages and the next biggest one I could find on my shelf was The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson, and that was only in the 680s. So I'm going to go with Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix is the longest book on my bookshelf. Question number seven, what is the shortest book on your bookshelf? And 
probably one of these Pucked novella, like, deleted scenes and outtakes, or the Mary Kate Nashley series. The Mary Kate Nashley books are less than 100 pages, I believe. Maybe some of them have, like, 120, 110 but most of them are under 100. Question number eight, what is the predominant genre on your bookshelf? And that is romance, specifically contemporary romance. Question number nine is, have you done a bookshelf tour? And no, I think I'm gonna kind of do like an overview of each shelf, but not an in-depth book by book um, tour, I guess you would call it actually. I'm just going to kind of do an overview at the end. Question number 10. Go on a random number generator and talk about the book that corresponds with that number. Give me a second. Okay, so I did random.org for a number between 1 and 201, just counting the books on my red shelf. And it ended up with number 20, which starting from the top, going left to right, is Stars Above, a Lunar Chronicles collection by Marissa Meyer. This is nine short novellas in the Lunar Chronicles world, and I really enjoyed this book. Um, I loved the Lunar Chronicles series, and I loved being back in the world after I had finished the series already. Question 11 is, do you have fan merch or any other decorations on your bookshelf? I do. Um, I have my salt lamp, which you see in the videos. I have a lot of my de Disney decorations, and there is some... Yeah, mostly it's Disney. Um, I have, like, my, my wand is up by my Harry Potter books and stuff like that, but I will kind of go more into more in-depth with those when I show you the overview. Which leads us to question 12, or item 12. Show us your bookshelf. Let me go switch cameras and climb up top where I can reach the top shelf. Okay, sorry if at any point you can see a shadow. But this is the top shelf of my bookshelves. Um, that is seashells from the Outer Banks. This is a Disney princess uh, coin bank. Here is my wand from Universal Orlando. I have a pumpkin juice and in the back there's actually a butterbeer cup. And then my Albus Dumbledore chocolate frog card and then I have the Harry Potter series and then the first three illustrated Harry Potters um Illuminae Files, Remnant Chronicles, whatever that spin-off series to the Remnant Chronicles is and then my Marissa Meyer section and then my cute little piggy bank over on Yep, there's the shadow. Over on this side, I have an R2-D2, Stein, Jay Crownover, Rebecca Yaros, Kristen Proby, Penelope Douglas, Chanel Clayton, the first in the Crazy Rich Asian series. Um, I have Sawyer Bennett, Rachel Van Dyken, and Jasmine Guillory stacked up. Leads into the Helena Hunting Shacking Up series. And then a bunch of blank space because there are a lot more Helena Hunting books. I do have the Puck series already. And then I have some kind of random. I have Lisa Raven, Elisa Romig, the one Mia Sheridan book I've read so far. I have more on my TBR. And then this book is so good. If you've never read this, you really should. Whatever Life Throws at You by Julie Cross. It's a baseball new adult romance and it's amazing. These are some of the misadventures books that I have so far. My sister has more of them. She's actually in the middle of reading them. Um, next will be the Jennifer L. Armentrout section. I do have more of those um, on my TBR to read. And then I have... Ooh, shadow. I have the Terran Soul series. Those are the two that I have read. My sister has book three. I have read it. And then I need to read four and five. And then that's a uh, cup from Cozumel, Mexico that I picked up on a cruise. Next, I have this cute little puppy stuffed animal. I have a Merida figurine, a TARDIS, and a Stitch. Those are in front of my Mariana Zapata books. Uh, these are the only four I have so far. Hoping to complete my collection at Book Bonanza next year. I have a Tilly Cole, some Katie Ashley, some Ilsa Madden Mills. These are the only two I've read so far. Uh, Jodi Ellen Malpas, I really liked this one. Um, I'm hoping to get some more of her series soon. I have Casey Quinn, Neon Dream series. This is my Core Carmack stack. 
uh, leads into the Samantha Young section. And then my three Colleen Hoover books. Uh, these two are my favorites. I, my sister just had an extra copy of this one. But usually I, usually my sister buys them and I read them in, like I read her copies. So I don't own my own Colleen Hoover books. Just the two that are my favorite and then an extra. I have a Dingle Hopper from Disney World. Because The Little Mermaid is my favorite movie. I have a K.A. Tucker stack, which I'm loving K.A. Tucker so much. This is my new little partner statue ornament figurine. Uh, this is the one R.S. Gray book, physical book, that I have so far. My sister, I believe, has the second one that I've read. And I cannot wait to fill up more of this one. She has a new one coming out that's actually based on a Disney cast member like situation type and I'm so excited to read. Next is the L. Kennedy section. Um, the... What is this series called? The Out of Uniform series? The Outlaw series? The Off Campus and the Briar U series? And then I have Paper Princess which is technically Aaron Watt. And then I have Cocky Tales Collective and my BB-8. Down below that I have a stack of Katie McGarry and uh, Morgan Matson books. I have this little figurine that's the I Love You in Sign Language. I have more Katie McGarry and then the two Karen M. McManus books that I've read so far. Um, I believe there's actually a sequel to this one coming out next year which I'm super excited about. This is the only Jen Bennett book that I have on the shelf so far. My sister has the other ones. This is probably still my favorite though and I love that cover. I have the uh, To All the Boys I've Loved Before series. And then I have these two books by Mila Gray. I don't know what the series is called but I really like it. Next is a Penny Reed stack. I have the Winston Brothers series. The five books. I'm waiting to get book six uh, closer to when book seven comes out because I'm going to be just completely traumatized. And then I have the Laws of Physics and Elements of Chemistry series and then the first book in the Dear Professor series. Uh, there's blank space here because there are definitely way more Penny Reed books that I want to get. And then this is a little cup that we received at Book Bonanza from Kim Jones and it's just got a whole bunch of pens and pencils and everything. And this is kind of just where I'm keeping my book journal at right now uh, for no particular reason other than that's just kind of a blank spot where I can get to all the time. Next is an Abby Glines section. Um, the Vincent Brothers series, the Seabreeze series, um, four of the Field Party series. There's another one that's at my sister's and then Ashy Fades. And this is Owen and Blue from Jurassic World. They're so cute. Next is Sarah Dessen. I believe this is all of them. I think I've kept track that I have all of them. And then I have some Tsum Tsums, a Stitch, an Ewok, Mickey and Minnie, and Princess Leia. And normally I would go straight down, but I'm actually going to swing back around to this side. Uh, this is the little container where I keep my magic bands. I have a red, an orange, and a white. I am a huge Houston Astros fan, so they won the World Series in 2017. And one of the games in 2018, they gave out these like replica rings. So yeah, I had we had to go and get those. Ann Brasher's Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series and then the Sisterhood Everlasting follow-up book that came out. Um, I have two Simone Uckless books. I do have the third one, but again, it's at my sister's. This Magnolia by Christy Cook is actually a really good YA book. Um, it's a kind of a Romeo and Juliet story without all the, like, tragedy. Well, I mean, there's kind of a tragedy, but... Like, their families don't like each other. Or, no, sorry. Their families do like each other. and But they don't like each other because they've always been, like, forced to, like, be together. And they don't like each other. And then, like, a tornado happens or something. And they are, like, close proximity have to 
like stay together. Anyway, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, uh, the Anna and the French Kiss series by Stephanie Perkins, I still really like. Broken Beautiful Hearts by Cami Garcia. And then I have two of the Black Top Cowboy series by Lorelai James. Uh, this is a little, I don't know if it's going to, yeah, it kind of shows up. This is a little rose in crystal glass figurine thing. I really wish that I could find the rest of the series. This is Suddenly Royal by Nicole Chase. I really liked it. It was very cute. And then I have the first book in the Heartbreaker Bay series by Jill Shalvis. I have more of that series, I just haven't read it yet. I think the next one I have to read is a Christmas one, so that's probably when it will happen. This stack of books is the five books that are my sisters. This is the Flat Out Love series by Jessica Park, and then two Mariana Zapata books that I don't own and haven't read yet. This is a stack of kind of want to get to soon books. Um, I believe these three are Romanceopoly. These two I just wanted to do in October, Halloween time. These are from the books I want to get to before the end of the year ser video that I did last week. Uh, more of that. And then it just kind of goes into TBR books. And there's so many TBR books. These are all of the ones that I'm currently reading. And then my salt lamp is over on the end. And underneath that I have all of my Disney and Marvel and Star Wars DVDs. And then I have some more TBR books. The Devney Perry Lark Cove series. And then the rest of the Pucked. And then the new D Helena Hunting books. Book. I have Haunted Mansion Cup. This is one of my favorite pictures. And I need to actually hang it up on my wall of the Carnival Vista from our cruise in January. I love this little candle. I just have a, a um, like Pioneer Woman bowl, a little lantern, another like margarita glass from Cozumel. Those are the Mary-Kate and Ashley books that I spoke about earlier, the Two of a Kind books, and then down on the end I keep the books I've read this month so I know where they are for my wrap-up videos. Over here on the side of my bookshelf I have my TBR cart. On top of that I just keep my Romanceopoly uh, board and then my um, book sleeves. This stack over here I actually just moved over here. It's the rest of the Abby Glines Rosemary Beach series. And then the bottom two shelves are literally just TBR books. Like they are pretty full on this side. And then there's space on this side, but not much. Okay, so here is just kind of an overview of the whole shelves. There we go. So that is my bookshelf tag video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.